Today we'll be going through a demo for getting started with profit in your marketing department. In this demo, we'll specifically cover a quick introduction to OKRs, creating OKRs for marketing, establishing alignments, completing check-ins, and viewing the dashboards and reports that you'll have access to as a profit user. Chief marketing officers have an exciting and challenging role today, and while the CMO's role has expanded with the arrival of digital, the challenges have only increased as well. Sales expects a constant stream of high-quality leads. While media choices have exploded, target audiences need to be reached within the budget. Customers demand personalized offerings at a great value, speeding up time to market, keeping up with competitor activities, and managing brand reputation with the explosion of social media and a zillion choices for the customer. OKRs can provide a great framework for CMOs to ensure that they execute their strategy with a high-performance, aligned team that is focused on achieving stretch goals. Typically, an organization has three to four objectives, each followed by two to five key results. The objective is your goal and the key results are the measures you use to track your progress towards that goal. With OKRs, we can identify the problems your organization is facing and think about what needs to be achieved in order for you to be successful. For example, maybe your department is struggling with getting people to sign up for your software. To fix that, we could develop an OKR to increase software signups via email. Now, we'll go through the process for creating that OKR in Profit. When you first log into Profit, you'll automatically land on your All My OKRs page. As you can see, Profit supports OKRs at the individual, corporate, department, and team levels. Today, we'll create our OKR in the Outbound Marketing Department. When you create your OKR, you have three options based on your level of expertise. Quick Create, using form and the step-by-step -step guide. Today we'll use Quick Create to create the objective mentioned earlier, increase software signups via email. After the objective has been created, we can then go in and add the key results. For our objective, we're going to be adding the key result, increase email open rate from 10% to 20%. When you create key results, you have the same creation options as when creating objectives. Here we'll select the step-by-step -step guide to walk through the process. The first step in the key result guide asks you to select your key result type. Percentage tracked key results are typically most common for those getting used to OKR methodology because they track your progress on a scale of 0 to 100% completion. Milestone tracked and baseline KPIs are similar to each other in that they both require a series of steps that need to be completed in order to finish your key result. And the last three, increase, decrease, and control KPIs are all metric-based key results. For our purposes, we're going to select increase KPI. The second step asks you what you'd like to change or more specifically what your KPI or unit of measurement is we're going to select Email Open Rate. The third step is what you want your values to be. Here we'll input from 10% to 20%. In the fourth step, we'll select our target date and we'll make it the same as our objective target date, the current quarter. In step five, you can change the key result name if you need to and add any additional context or details to help explain or clarify your key result. Step six asks you if you want to assign your key result to anyone else, whether it be another individual, department, or team. If not, you can click through this step. And the last step in the guide asks you how often you want to update your status or check in on your key result. We'll select every Friday, but if there's a date that works better for your organization, you can select that here. As you can see, I've added all of our key results underneath our objective. Now we'll talk about how you can align your OKR with others in your organization to optimize your success. For example, our OKR could align with the Marketing Department OKR, 
establish a solid lead gen engine to show that there's a relationship between the two. You can make this alignment when creating your OKR, or you can select the objective name and press the Align button on the right-hand side of the page. When you click Align, you'll see all of the OKRs in your organization that you're able to align with. Once you select Align with this OKR and press Update, your OKR progress will automatically be reflected upwards to the OKR you've aligned with. We can then go to the Alignments top-down page to see the relationship between your OKR and the one that you've aligned with. Once your OKRs are all aligned, set up, and ready to go, we can then start the check-in process. This is where you'll input your data and show the progress that you've made on your OKRs towards achieving your objectives. To make a check-in on a key result, drag the slider over to the value you'd like to place it at. The check-in window will open where you can input the exact value, the status, and any comments you might have. You'll also find a projection graph below with the planned date and corresponding planned value of your key result progress. Once you press update, your key result progress will be updated and in turn, so will your objective. We can also see that the OKR we've aligned with has been updated as well. The last thing we'll talk about today are the dashboards and reports available to you in Profit. First is the company dashboard, which is a total overview of your organization's OKR progress. On this page, you'll find charts and graphs representing your company's overall OKR progress, OKRs by department, individual OKRs by department, and OKRs remaining versus achieved. You can also view the OKRs in your organization by status. For example, if you wanted to see how many OKRs have an at-risk status, you can hover over the corresponding color and select it to see exactly which OKRs are included. There's also the department heat map where you can view your progress based on specific departments with the corresponding OKRs below. And finally, there's your OKR progress report, which is a projection of your OKRs based on your target date and a display of the progress that's been made thus far. As you can see, Profit has a variety of features that can help you rise above the challenges that CMOs and marketing departments are facing in order to achieve your goals. By defining our OKRs and establishing the right connections, we're able to stay on top of what's happening at the marketing level and take the necessary actions in order to be successful. If you'd like to discuss the specific needs of your organization and receive a free, tailored demo, you can sign up for one under the demo section of our website. Thanks for listening.